Hey guys, Aaron here. Today I am going to show you how to separate the two pieces of your headlights in case you're going to be doing some kind of retrofit. I just got some new parts in from Retrofit Lab and I'm going to be doing that. So I figured for the separating the parts, I'm going to make a separate video for that. Now, some people do this in the oven. I hear between 200 and 250 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. That's always one option. It could be an easy way. If your wife does not like that idea, there's always the box method and that's what I'm going to be using. So this is my first time doing it. Got some advice from Jan who's done this before, so I'm going to try it myself and make a video for you guys. So it is freezing outside today in North Carolina, so I'm bringing part of this project inside. I removed the headlights. If you don't know how to do that, here is a link on that. It's super simple. It took about two minutes to get them out, and I have a heat gun and the box. That's the main components of our oven. All right, so there is this nice rubber gasket around the edge here. And if yours is in good condition, you need to remove it. If it's not, supposedly there's a way to uh, replace that. Maybe one day I will get into that. I don't know how to do that yet, but there are two Phillips screws. Uh, sorry, here, one here and one here on this side. And then you can see there are little hooks around the rubber that you have to take apart. And none of the videos that I've seen show any of this. So, and on this side, there are three little plastic rivets they look like. So I think I just have to pop those out and I can carefully remove that. So let's see. So I'm just gonna remove these two. Now this is loose. here it fits into here so there's some tabs around that they fit into all right the first one is in the oven but after screwing up the other side I finally realized that these are the little things that have the pins in the middle so you want to poke that pin in first so I just use little tiny allen keys and I'm gonna bet that it's gonna come out a lot easier now just work it Gently hook it in a little more. Still really stubborn. There we go. Pushed it in all the way. And now it's going to come out. My concern with pushing it in all the way is that pin is now inside here. So I guess I'm opening it up, so I will retrieve it later. But at this point, you should be able to peel the rest of this off, I think. Aha, okay, so there is like a little hard hook or something. So you just slide this forward this way. And that front corner will come off. So I don't know if you can see, but there's a little black plastic piece attached here. So when reassembling, start from this corner and slide it on. And apparently you cannot buy these things anymore, so if you have one, treasure it. With that removed, you just need to remove the uh, back panels. Just press on that and it slides out. And this panel here, just unscrew that and remove that so we're not making these with the seals. And this bulb up front, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it and pull this out. And uh, yeah, this is really old wiring. If you can see, it's all frayed and nasty. So when I put this back together, I'll re-tape that up. But I just wanna disconnect this one while I'm taking things apart. This looks like one of those little press in the bottom slot here and it comes out, but it does not wanna come out. what that looks like and uh yeah just that little tab holding it in okay now for the box normally you would do this outside in your garage but i don't want to go out there because it's cold so i'm just going to put some uh, protection down here set up our box so i got the large heavy duty box from lowe's so it is uh you know thicker than the normal boxes this one is just big enough for the whole thing to fit in 
and you don't want the hot air blowing directly onto this I've heard so a lot of people elevate it from the bottom uh, but I'm just gonna put the gun up here higher so I'm gonna want the outside of this so I'm gonna want up to about here on the gun inside the box so I'm just gonna draw a really rough circle go ahead and cut it out with the box cutter Perfect. Okay, so the next question is what setting and how long am I gonna bake this? Uh, good questions. I've heard people putting it on low. I've heard of people putting it on high. So I'm gonna go closer to high and I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna leave it in there for about 15 minutes. Some people leave it in 20 or more minutes. So uh, we'll see. Obviously I'm going to close and uh, seal the top of the box. Mm, I mean, I could be sealing all of this uh, but I'm just gonna try this for now, see how it goes. So put that on the high speed and uh, I'll check back in 15 minutes. All right, it's been a little over 15 minutes. So I'm gonna get in there. You're gonna want gloves because it's gonna be hot. Somehow I only have these thin mechanic gloves. So I don't think it's gonna be enough. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna set it down carefully here on a towel. And uh, I did watch a video that seemed to be, seemed like it would be very helpful. And so what they recommended was to start here on the uh, curved section. And what they did is they took a kind of putty knife thing and dropped it right down here in the crease and took a flat head and kind of so how about some of these little metal pry bar type tool things and i'm going to just slowly lift up here now what they showed was getting down in this crack kind of Straight down at the bottom. I guess that way you're lifting up on the, uh, not on the corner of this piece that's visible, but on the underneath side of it. Okay, so it's not coming off really easily, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the oven. Okay, now that I know what I am supposed to do, it's kind of humorous when I'm going back to look at this footage of, you know, 30 minutes of me working on this thing, doing it the wrong way. So this is still the wrong way that you can see me prying up on the uh, corner of the lens. And I ended up scratching a bunch of the silvery white part. Um, you can kind of see here a little bit where it's damaging it a little bit. So do not do that when you do it. It is flexing a little bit and lifting up, which is eventually what you're going to want, of course. But that is not the right way to do it. That is how you can damage it. It wasn't until Jan told me to get a larger screwdriver until I finally got uh, things starting to work. Now with a screwdriver, you can scratch kind of in the groove to... Uh, peel off some of the material but here's where I finally just kind of started brute forcing it mostly because I was really annoyed and frustrated but what you're going to do is you're going to actually peel out the uh, little groove you can see that I'm kind of pulling that plastic uh, towards me and once you do that that's how you can get the kind of 45 degree angle with uh, the screwdriver under the edge see. of that thing. But I'm supposed to be digging under here. So once you pull this backing far enough away, there's a little bit of an edge that you can get under down here. And 
And that's what you lift up, the knot on the edge of this. Yeah. Bend this out. So you can get under the lip. See the edge of it here. Okay, now that I see what I need to do, let me heat it up one more time. And you can actually see the progress I've made. There's black, 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 and then it's been pulled apart a little bit here until you get back to the black. Okay, let's try this again. All right, so I got this metal one stuck in here. And I'll try to slide down the lens. Keep prying it up. After enough leverage, it popped all the way up to here. And now I can just pull it by hand. Just work it all the way around. Just lifting gently as I go. Now, while you're doing this, I should point out that they say to never, ever, ever touch the underside of this lens with your hands or anything, even a microfiber cloth, because it will scratch it and you'll have to do a ton of buffing. So, I'll just try to avoid that altogether. Okay, once I get all the way to the end, I've been using the big screwdriver. If you can see that. Pretty much up to the corner now. All right, all right now this seal in the front. Over here is finally coming apart. So, I see once you get most of it, you can just kind of twist it. I'm going to pull the lens this way. Okay, once it's really loose and just hinging on the Oops. The 
so you can rotate it like this. Just twist it, push this out, and it'll pop off. There we go. Finally disassembled. So this is what you're working with. And all this black stuff is the stuff that we'll scrape off. And we have the innards with some black stuff. And again, remember, be very careful with this. Do not touch the inside. Okay, my next step is I'm just going to use an X-Acto knife or a box cutter and get all of the big chunks of this sealant off. I'm just using a flat blade screwdriver to get all of the gunk out of here too while the other one is in the oven. Yeah, none of this is fun at all. It's a lot of brute force. So here you can see that I'm working on the second side and uh, you can see that the casing I just cracked right there. Another piece just chipped off. Uh, so I was going a lot faster on this side, but with a little too much confidence I think, and too much brute force. So instead of working on the uh, bottom part, trying to get that separated, uh, I think what I had done on the other side is, when I flip it back around here, I go all the way down to the corner on the front on this side before worrying about the uh, very front part where I was chipping it. So when you do it, work your way around, starting on this side to the other side, but then don't try to go all the way down under the front. Come back over here and to get this side uh, opened up first. Alright, two done. Alright, once it's all separated and cleaned up, you will probably have some uh, gunk here in the lens on the inside. And you want to use uh, compressed air to get that out. You don't want to put any water or anything in here or touch it. Uh, that's what I'm told at least. And to seal it up, I'm just going to use clear silicone when I reassemble it. Now there is some... Uh, automotive butyl bead that you can buy to put on there but I've heard that's harder to work with so I'm just going to uh, use some advice I got and silicone it back together and if you want to see it being put back together you can check out my video on the upgrading to the retrofit lab lights now is also a good time to remind you to go ahead and uh, check out the link in the description if you're interested in purchasing one of these shirts or if you're interested in becoming a channel member, go check out the join button right next to the subscribe button. All right, guys, that's it for the disassembly video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you in the future for more Boxster content.